guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. It is a yucky, rainy, cold day today here in Long Island, New York. Oh, woe is me, I've got problems. That's right, Boba was running around with the leash. Knocked onto my uh, rig here. My rig, the ring LED light, is done I'm just going to have to come up with some kind of new setup now. But first, I am going to the parking lot to meet somebody. Some nut wants to buy uh, that long black Craftsman uh, lawnmower. Uh, I have it listed for 75 and I think she's giving me 60 I just want to get rid of it, so 60 is fine. How's it going? Could be a nicer day. And this is crazy with this coronavirus. gas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, that one actually has a very strong motor. When you pull on it, it's like really strong, so that would take care of your problem. But I don't think I can let go of it for 40. You know? No, I understand, but 40 is just too cheap, you know? Uh, thank you very much. I mean, if you could do, if you could do another 20 bucks, I'd do 60. On this one? On that one over there. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna need a bag. I see. Well, okay. All right. Good luck. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. 
I sure do, no worries. I got a text message from the guy who gave me those two Toros. He had the uh, side discharge for the for the newer one. He just left it here. He says, come by and get it whenever you want. So, you know, it was worth like $10, $15. Adds to the um, value of the mower. You know, I don't really know anybody who uses it, but it's a good shape. It was near my house. So I'm home now. I guess I'm going to start a new uh, batch. So in case you guys didn't know, I wanted to show you guys how this uh, works. This is that really nice condition, almost like new um, Toro Recycler that I got for free from this guy who just gave it to me uh, the other day. And uh, as you know, um, the carburetor um, float needle has a little spring in it that was missing. And so while I didn't have that spring, I tried to substitute it with something else, but it didn't work. So I just ordered a new carburetor for $15 off of eBay. So I'm waiting for that carburetor to come. Once I put it on, hopefully it'll work right. And uh, this thing I'll probably list for $250 because it's a nice mower, you know what I mean? And uh, I just got this attachment from that guy who gave it to me and went to his house and picked it up. And basically, if you wanted to do a side discharge instead of mulch, let's say you took the bag off, right? The bagger's off, the door goes down, shuts, it, shuts the door. You lift this up to do a side discharge and it just sits like that. So now all the all the grass will shoot out the side. It's kind of like a side discharge deflector attachment. If you want to mulch, just take it out and put it back on again. So it's a good little uh, accessory. It's worth like 20 bucks, brand new, maybe 10 or 15 on uh, online. This is my last Toro recycler. The one that I, the last of my push mowers from underneath my tent. And uh, there's a lot of rust buildup on here. So for me to make this look, you know, much better, I'd have to grind all the rust spots down. There's probably 20 or 30 rust spots, you know, that bubbles up like this. I'd have to grind it all down, remove the engine, mask it off, take the wheels off, paint it brand new uh, red, right? Put the engine back on but still doesn't have self-propulsion. So it's not worth all that time and effort, right? However, I do kind of feel funny about the way this looks because, you know, it has the propulsion sticking out like this, right? So I'm thinking about taking this off, just the, this part off so that I could get like a plastic thing and cover it. Maybe I shouldn't because this is already messed up here anyway. You know what I mean? I was going to make some kind of cover, but then this has like a lift over here. It would be really difficult to fabricate a cover for this without actually molding it. You know what I mean? So maybe I won't do it. I have to think about it.
So as you saw, I got a little out of control, you know? I just removed the gearbox from the transmission, and I was looking at the gearbox, and I'm like, you know what? Somebody might buy this. So I put it all back together again, took some pictures. I'll sell the gearbox alone with the worm gear in there. It's in good condition, you know what I'm saying? Um, remove the uh, drive belt. I removed that entire apparatus, and of course, I took a uh, plastic cover to some uh, spare ribs or something from Super Stop and Shop. Cut the plastic, siliconed it around there, cut it to shape, and then, you know, it seemed like a lot of trouble, I know. But once I get started with something, I'm determined to get it working, you know? So while the plastic was kind of bumping up in some areas, I used this uh, dual temperature heat gun, see, that I got from my friend Sam, subscriber Sam. Go check him out over at Red Oaks Mowers on Instagram. Anyway, I just heated up the areas and uh, I mean, it gets really hot fast, you know what I mean? So it kind of melted the plastic in the parts that I needed it to bend. And with the help of the silicone being sticky, while it was soft, you put your hand on there and it kind of molds to where you want it to go, you know, as it cooled, the plastic cooled. So it kind of molded into that shape because it was kind of tough. On the top side, it was just straight. But on the front side, it went like this straight, then down and then straight again. So I had to make that like curve, you know. I just wanted to see if I could do it, you know. I was determined to do it. And then uh, it's tough to get it clamped down so that the silicone will seal, right? So this is a bag of old, uh, about a couple of years old of uh, weed and feed, you know, fertilizer. And it's in this bag, see. So you have the weight and you have the sand, if you will, you know, like uh, granular stuff, so that it, the weight molds it with the pressure on the plastic, it molds it on. You know what I mean? The weight onto the plastic, you know? So now the silicone will cure with the weight on there, the plastic around there. You know what I mean, right? Uh, kind of like if you took a, uh, a bag of water and you put it on, it's the same, same thing, but I think the, like a bag of sand would be the best to hold it down and it would, you know, uh, ma make the shape of where you want it to be because it's soft, you know? So I'll let this cure for a little bit and then I'll just spray it with some red paint to cover it, whatever. At least it's not bumping up with the thing like that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to do. My friend Jason brought me one of these covers, see? To, uh, to put on one of my uh, mowers, those junk mowers that uh, didn't have a cover. Well, at least I stole it off of that one. So uh, when he gave it to me, I said, this doesn't look like the one that I took that off. It's more rounded in the corners, you know what I mean? More flatter. But uh, I figured, you know, let me try it. It doesn't fit. So uh, Jason, I'm gonna give this back to you, man. Thank you. Thank you for trying. But it's a little bit different. It's not the, it doesn't, want to, it doesn't say the self-propelled. It's the one that says 21 in green. And it's more rounded over here, you know, like that, contoured. That's the one that fit. It's close, though, but it doesn't match up the hole, see? That hole is, like, over here, you know? So you have to push it all the way up there, and then it gets in the way of the belt, you know? So anyway, so it's over here whenever you need it. I know you got a bunch, but um, thank you for trying. All right, so I'm just going to wait until this dries, and then I'll paint it red. So I'm waiting for this to dry, the silicone, and then I was looking in the corner of my uh, garage and I saw this. This is the Murray engine that I took off of the, um, the free Murray lawn mower that I got from that guy on Let Go. It was a picture of a nice looking mower and he was giving it away for free, but then when I got it, the thing was just a piece of garbage, you know, deck was all rotted out. It was like... He posted the before picture, and then he gave me the after, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I stripped that down, took the wheels, some other parts and stuff, and this is the engine to it. Uh, one of the engine mounting bolts is stripped in there, so it looks like I might have to do some more drilling. So I'm thinking this engine might be good because uh, it just sat for a while, you know? Um, if you take a look at this, this is also a quantum engine, but it has like a cur the curved um, carburetor. So the carburetor, instead of it being parallel to this, right, it's actually curved like that. Um, I think I had a few of them like that. And believe it or not, I just went to the back 
and I actually found a uh, air cleaner base that has the curved part here. See how that's curved in like that and not straight, right? It's curved diagonally, like uh, I don't know, 35 degrees or something. So I'm amazed that I even have this, you know what I mean? So looks like it fits. And then of course it's missing the spring here, right? But as you know, I just uh, tore, tore down a smoky quantum engine the other day and I kept the spring. So here's the spring. I'm just gonna put it on right now. Just goes on like that and this part clips on. So you can clip it either here because this moves, but some, it's hard to move sometimes. Or you can clip it on this bigger one here where you can actually bend it. I like to cl clip it onto this one because you can kind of adjust the RPMs as needed. You know what I mean? I know you know. I know you know what I mean. Man, come on! Get on there. There you go. So now it's got a spring. See? So if I just put this cover on, I still need this top part. Yeah, so two screws go in here, another screw goes over here to hold it on the bracket, right? I do have a cover for it somewhere. I don't know if I have this cover, and it looks like this part here is missing something. So I went to my bag of parts, and like I said, I, I had another Murray, and this goes like this, right? This goes like that. But this doesn't fit on here because look, this has that there. And this has already has the uh, label 6.25 and this has another label 6, you know. So this doesn't this doesn't fit this model. However, if you just chuck that base, this part fits on here. This one fits on here, see? Uh, I think it fit on it before. I don't, I don't know. Come on, Henry, hurry up. I gotta go to the bathroom. All right. Okay, so there you go. So that looks much better. Uh. Oh. This thing needs to be pushed down to break. Uh huh. It does spin. It has the, uh, pulley on the bottom for the self-propulsion and this nut is clear but this one nut right here see I need to drill that one out and I have terrible drill bits horrible I go through like 10 in one session I'm not I'm not a good driller so I think uh, I don't know maybe I could get this going some t someday then I whip this engine out of my uh, shed I got it from five speed ash and uh, I was gonna try to put the side stuff on here and build this engine you know what I mean however when I took a closer look at it right look at the crankshaft I'm sorry it's not um, focusing but as you can see somebody banged it so hard that it uh, it's warped and it took out like three threads so Unless I cut it, it may not. It may be too short to put a thing on it. I don't even know if it works, so I'm just gonna strip it of its vital part. When I was putting the parts back into my shed. I saw this in my shed. This is the uh, smoky engine from that John Deere JS63. Uh, so this is a smoky engine. I'm gonna strip this of its parts and then throw it out.
So as you guys know, I've been selling tractors quite a bit, uh, a lot of lawnmowers too. But uh, I mean, I, I sold like five in the past uh, two, three weeks. I don't know. Still looks like I got a lot. All right, so there's a parking spot there. That was for the uh, yellow NTD that I sold just uh, yesterday. The other Troy built was also sold, right? The Toro, this guy. Let me tell you about this guy. Holy cow. Holy cow. So this dude, while I had 30 offers for this, right? This dude says, hey, I can't pick it up until next weekend, but can I come and meet you to get a, to give you a deposit so you don't sell it? And, you know, the guy was like one of those cult Toro guys, you know? And he was buying a house or whatever, and uh, he wanted this for the house. So after a whole week of waiting for this dipshit, right, uh, he says his house deal fell apart, so he's not going to need the tractor. So in the meantime, I blow a week telling people that it's pending when it wasn't pending at all. My mistake was to not take the deposit. I should have taken the deposit, right? And then if it fell through for him, I keep the deposit, you know? But right now, I got nothing. I got bubkis. So anyway, uh, I got a guy coming tomorrow. He's been waiting for this deal to fall through so he can come and get it, you know? So maybe I'll sell this tomorrow. On the other hand, this Troy built here, right? I dropped the price from 575 to 375 because I wrote in the description, deck vibrates. This is the one that the spindles and the blades, they don't match up and I had to do some welding. So the guy's gonna, I said in the description, you're gonna need new spindles and new blades. So uh, I dropped it to 375. Some guy offered me 300. He knows the situation. He just wants the tractor without the deck. Doesn't matter, he said he'll fix it. So maybe I'll sell this tomorrow. And maybe I'll sell that tomorrow. In the meantime, this Murray is still here. My other Murray is still there. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't really have an engine for it. Haven't done anything to this yet. Oh, yeah. You guys remember this, right? Quinn the Mailman pointed me out, pointed me out to this one. This is a uh, 1638HXL, which is a hydrostatic Toro uh, wheel horse. Oh, and it has a Vanguard engine in it, too. So this is probably going to be my next victim when the weather's better because it might... My lawn, my lawn. Oh, my God. It's so muddy and soft. Unbelievable. I have this listed for six seventy-five. I got an offer today for four fifty. You know what? It's just the beginning of spring. I don't really want to get rid of it yet. I'll wait until six seventy-five. This I'm keeping for myself because it's the only one with Bagger and the uh, Murray. So it wasn't a bad day today. I stripped uh, two engines of its, you know, valuable parts. You know, I probably could have gone crazy and stripped it even more and taken the connecting rods out. But honestly, with these push mowers, I just don't care anymore. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to dump uh, those two uh, on the curb on garbage day or maybe take a picture of it and have my local scrappers come by. I'm sure they'd like to have the aluminum. Uh, as you know, yesterday I tore down a uh, smaller Briggs uh, Quantum also. So I have three engine blocks. Uh, two of them smoke. One of them has a bad crankshaft. And I'm just going to throw them out. But I got the good parts for it. You saw me just taking pictures of it to list on eBay. These are good parts, you know. You make more money um, selling these parts than the engine itself, you know what I mean? To go through the, a day's worth of drilling and trying to figure out why it uh, smokes and the, the piston rings. You guys know, it's, sometimes it's not worth the time and effort to fix piston rings on a push mower. It's just not worth the time. The parts are worth more money, you know. That is if you get on eBay. If you don't get on eBay, you're not going to sell it, you know. Uh, anyway, sold a mower today and um, kind of made that uh, Toro Recycler look a little better. Got the gearbox out of it. Maybe I'll get $20, $30 out of that, huh? You know? Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a more lucrative day. But so far, I'm on like eight or nine days of straight selling, you know? Sold something every day. Uh, Cha-ching, you know? Uh, pretty profitable this time of year. Um, I'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.
Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, reverse that. Um, thanks so much for uh, following my cousin, Hank, the Asian Rednecks YouTube channel. Uh, <laughs> when, when I asked you guys to, uh, you know, follow his channel, he had uh, 37 subscribers. He's at almost 60 now. Man, oh man. Thank you. He's going to be so happy. You know, uh, he's going to sleep well. Thank you guys very much. Um, you know, he has the clips that I think are interesting, but you don't have to watch my entire video to watch that clip. Like, for instance, yesterday, the, um, the entire process of selling that mower where the guy wanted a mower, but it didn't have the height adjusters, and I just so happened to have another one in the van, you know. That was kind of interesting, you know, the, the banter back and forth, the conversation that you have, you know, um, and also all the experiences of me selling uh, each item that I've had. I always take video of it as, as much as I can, you know, um, because it, it shows that if you, if you guys saw, out of all the sales that I did in the past couple of weeks, right, everybody wore a mask and gloves, except for that guy yesterday who didn't wear a mask because he forgot it, but he had the gloves on. Well, if he touches his face, he's in some deep trouble. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me again, and uh, continue to follow Hank the Asian Redneck. He's a good guy. He's a good kid. So I thought my day was done. I guess it's not done. Uh, I got a text from my friend Nick from Medford. Uh, he's been taking apart tractors for the past month or so, and he's had a bunch of engines that are blown. He was just going to chuck it to the curb, and, well, he always texts me first because he knows I want the parts, you know? And so, uh, finally, I guess his old lady is giving him uh, a little bit of the business about getting rid of the stuff. And I haven't really had any opportunities to get out to where he is because he lives far, man. It's a 40 minute drive on the highway. So imagine how far that is. You're driving like 70, 80 miles an hour for 40 minutes. That gives you an idea about how far it is. So, anyway, he's got like four engines. They got starters, flywheels, magnetos, all that stuff. I mean, that stuff is money. I just can't see him throwing all that stuff out into the garbage, man. And it, it's being a waste. It's just a waste, you know? So, what can I do? Hopped in my truck. I gotta go there. I gotta go over there. I don't, I mean, I gotta get the stuff. Can't let them throw it away. It's a waste. I'm gonna go to Nick from Medford's house. So, I'm here over at Nick from Medford's house. This is what he's throwing away. It's a yard machines, tractor, hood is there. This is a Zongshen. Zongshen. You know, I sold a lot of parts off of this. Front end. Look at the that an MTD deck. Hmm. Five Speed Ash may want this. This is his Lamborghini. Nice, huh? That looks nice too. Oops. It's LT1000. LT1000. What's up, Nick? Say hello to everybody. Are you going to say hello to everybody? Hello, everybody. Oh, my God. You tell me, come over here. Tell me if you've ever seen a V-twin with this foam looking like this. Wow. Dude, the guy used it three times. Look ne at this. No rust. Never seen, never seen it so clean before. It's got a snow, uh, board with the snow blower attachment. Wow. It's got the bracketry for the snow blower. Look at the back of the seat. Look. Look at that. Oh, 20 years old. cow. Yeah, man. Crazy. Look at the condition of this LT-1000. Holy cow. 2000, holy cow. Man, that's incredible. That's 20 years old and it, and it looks like that? Yeah, dude, it's cool, right? Oh, he must have just kept it in his garage and hardly used it. Never. Nick just got a new work van. This is a 2020 Transit. Transit 350. It's got a shelving system in here. Oh, look at the LED lights on top. Yeah, 
puts all this shit in here. You made that stuff? Yeah. I'm the one. And I got a little chicken little here. I got a whole And right here's the refrigerator. On the on the inside. Cool. Yeah. What does this cost brand new? $45,000. Wow. This quad runs? Yeah, that's that's my that's ties. Oh cool. Sorry. Yeah, that's ties, that thing runs. That thing's fast as hell. <laughs> this is a freebie. Freebie with a locked up motor. So Nick gave me a blown power mower from Zhong Shen, or what I like to call power no more. Uh, actually he gave me one of these a long time ago. I actually stripped it and sold like 80% of the parts on eBay. Uh, people want the parts, you know? Here's a uh, brand new Kohler 18. The story is the guy got it, got his tractor, brand new from wherever, Home Depot or something. Uh, he didn't put oil in it, and he ran it and blew. I can't make that stuff up, seriously. Give me some old carburetors. One of them has the uh, right angle one. Scores! A couple of uh, seats over there, a couple of tires. Um... I just basically stripped all the stuff that I would want from here. Um, front light assembly, the wiring harness, uh, some uh, battery cables, light switch, ignition switch, you know, gas tank, lens. See this lens? Lens is in good shape. You never know when I'm going to need that lens someday, right? Or I could sell it on eBay. I bet you the uh, still might go for something because, you know, the lenses are always broken. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to come to Nick's house for quite some time unless I was doing business in the region already. But when he starts saying, Henry, I'm going to throw it out if you don't come and get it. That's a way for him to get me to come and get it because he knows that if he says he's going to throw it to the curb, I'm going to come and get it. You know what I mean? What are you doing, bro? Taking the linkage off of this piece of shit. The reason why you told me to come today was because the wife was giving you the business, right? No. Come on. No, she don't give me no business. She doesn't give you any business? Not when you make three, four hundred dollars extra a day. She didn't good. say, Hey, Nick, <laughs> you gotta get rid of all that shit. No. no. <laughs> you know what's funny? I didn't really text that to my wife. I was texting it to Pete, and I didn't want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> he just gave me these bagger bins, too, and I says, Well, why do you want to give those to me? He says, because it doesn't fit on anything he has. They're from a Murray. And I said, you mean my Black Beauty Murray? He's like, yeah, it'll fit on this. I'm like, scores! So these here are 12-inch weights for my Craftsman GT6000. You know, the Blue Bayou. These should fit on my 12-inch uh, rims in the back. Uh, I have the 8-inch ones, so I have them like sitting on the back on a bracket, which looks kind of ghetto. So I want to take those off and put these 12s on, and uh, I'll owe Nick uh, the pair of 8s when I come back, which I'll just take them off my uh, tractor. But uh, I could use these. I hope they fit. I took just about what I wanted out of here. Not that I really wanted it, but I just can't let it go, you know. Uh, these tires actually hold air, but uh, they won't come off, so he's just going to give them away unless you took the tranny off. All right, uh, Nick, say goodbye. Next time on Crackers with Tractors. There you go. Later. All right. Back home now.